Hey guys, here we are in the lion's den, Scottsdale, Arizona. Today is the day that we're making the Elliott Army music video. You heard it. You guys know Rob Bailey's been a big mentor in my life for a long time. If you go look up Rob Bailey and the Hustle Standard, the greatest music on planet Earth. And I asked him all the core values of the Elliott Army, what we stand for, our culture, what we built. Um, Rob's been with us for the last couple years. We've inspired and motivated each other back and forth. We're brothers, we go to Mexico together all the time. And I go, dude, I need you to make me a song. I need it, okay? The Elliott Army song. You guys are the best. So Charlie Hustle and Rob Bailey have flown out to Scottsdale and we're making the music video, we're making the song today in the lion's den. Let's get it. <laughs> Yeah, if you go to social media, I mean, basically y'all's message is what you hear. Yeah. Clip, clipped up like 19 million different ways. I mean, it's wild to come here and see this and know that the music was that impactful for you guys because we made it believing in all of it. So it's cool to see it translate to something incredible and powerful and, and positive. And it's, it's, I'm overwhelmed, honestly. It's pretty amazing. Well, I told I told Rob, I said, it's time. This is this is time for you guys to go to the next level. And do total recreation round two. Yeah. You gotta remember your calling, your purpose, your why. I was talking about calling. What'd you shave? What'd you cut? Cut my beard and lost yeah, some weight. Up, I'm like, he looks yeah, great well you now. look great, man. Yeah, I mean your body looks great, yeah, but like your face good. looks like Trying, super bro. jawline type. Like you. Yeah. No, like right? fucking ten times bigger than me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but with a jawline. Yeah. yeah, but you look good, dude. Thank you you look super healthy. Thank you, brother. Trying, like your health. Too. Yeah, you know, like, it, it, I was telling them, like, our calling. We all have a calling, right? Yeah. And it was never to make money. The goal was we wanted to be successful. You know, we wanted to be winners because a lot of us were losers at one point. But uh, the goal now is our calling is to literally rip the f***ing inner side of people out of them so they go fight for their families. Yeah. You know, they go fight for their dreams. I mean, do the graveyard just f***ing chewing up dreams left and right. And it's because, you know, this. Everybody's comfortable. And you might have gotten uh, chewed up now. You might have gotten a part in it. You might need to listen to your own music again. First thing I told him, I go, man, you need to listen to your music again. Okay? Because I know y'all's lyrics better than you know it. And my children know it. And our team know it. Okay? And sometimes you're like, man, wait, what happened? Well, it's life. The devil only attacks what's valuable. So at one point, you guys were creating music. You didn't realize it was creating a big enough impact. Yeah. You felt cool, but you didn't realize it was streaming the world and all these gyms and all these places yeah. and all these pockets and all these people. They needed the message. Dude, we've got guys that literally will break down, you know, like that song, you know, I wrecked, you know, yeah. I wrecked my life to resurrect my life. Yeah. I, I know so many men that just, you know, get in the shower, they'll crank that shit up. They'll break down crying because these can hate themselves. They look in the mirror. You know, even if you see yourself, we were talking this morning, like, you don't even recognize yourself. And what you do recognize, you hate. Yeah. You're like, I fucking hate this. Like, I hate this. Like, how the fuck did this happen? And so the goal is you don't want to go back. You want to recreate and build something that's never been built. You know what I mean? And so all the music, all the words, all the language, the I am's, you know, I am this, yeah. I am that. Yeah. Impact, do they get more impacted than yourself? Yeah. That's, That's the, the truth, bro. Like sometimes we forget, like, you know, like when we were building this thing, we were we were running off pure testosterone and craziness. <laughs> and then, you know, like, and then, you know, and, and obviously y'all stuff, but when you're creating it, you were running off pure testosterone and craziness. And really, everybody thought you weren't gonna make it. And so you were like, fuck everybody. So you created something beautiful. And I say Rob Bailey, but I can say and the hustle said, but like it, I thought it was all one. I didn't know there was yeah. two people for a long yeah. time. My son okay. doesn't even know there's two people. He thinks it's all him. So. <laughs> hey, no, well, well, no, because like, but like, he's the bigger alpha. Oh, look. he's the he's the ticket. And then, yeah. and then, but but him not having your part isn't him. Yeah. Okay, I, the team. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's like it's it's nothing. It's like yeah. It's like the Elliott Army is the the mission. It's the culture. It's the team. And uh, you know what I know. Sometimes we gotta f everything up to know that like we. F 
needed that. Yeah. We need that. And you just go do it better. And yeah, I can't stand this song anymore. Yeah. Yes, Holy Let's moly. Get I'm get get Let's go. Back. Two sections of the song, right? We're going to start with the chorus. The chorus is, we are Elliot Army. Nice. Very, very simple. All right? But we're going to need a few different takes of it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to record it one big section, and then we're going to pull probably 10 people at a time. There's probably about 40 people here, so we'll do four sets of 10. That way we have all the different audio blocks to mix, to mix with mm -hmm. to make sure it sounds really good. We're chanting or singing? Chanting. Chanting. What does that sound like? Um, we. we are Elliot Army. Okay. And then over and over. And so, so like eight, eight times. Uh, yeah. We're probably going to we'll maybe do one or two to warm up, make sure everyone's at the, at the excitement level we need them at. Yeah. And then I want to get, yeah. we'll do four, four good takes of it. We are Elliot Army. We are Elliot Army. We are Elliot Army. We are Elliot Army. You guys are fast learners. This is going to be sick. Ready? Here we go. We are Elliot Army. 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 Today we made our first theme song. I don't think we've ever made a theme song before, but Andy's a dear friend. He asked one day if you would ever make a song for us, please. And uh, dreams, dreams do come true. The yeah, American I, dream. I don't f with many people. Like, if you watch me, I don't f with many people. So it takes me a long time to realize that someone's a real person. And uh, I come into a lot of contact with a lot of people that are like, is Andy, like, what's he actually like? And I was like, he's exactly like he is on the internet all the time. And it's the coolest thing in the world. So, one, I'm honored to bring my boys here because I want everyone to experience the Elliott Army, the culture that he built here, you, and like actually listen, right? Because it will change your life. And to be able to make a song, holy moly, it's been a really exciting project. We made it about a month ago. We've been working on it and we figured the best way to come down here to wrap up the song is to get everyone in the Elliott Army on the track. So we just did some big boy gang vocals that went so well, so well. Exceeded all expectations. Exceeded all expectations. <laughs> um, so you guys should be hearing this song uh, coming out soon. We're gonna burn their eyes out. We're gonna burn their eyes out. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, no more eyes for anyone. Burn their ears. Yeah. So if you don't, if you're not listening to Rob Bailey's music and Hustle Standard, if you're not listening to Rob and Hustle, you're not, you're not growing. Now yeah. this is the new, this is the new era. You watch this come up. This is the new thing. Taking courses is cool. Going to events is cool. But listening to the greatest tracks on I am a savage, a warrior. I'm the person that's going to change my family. No one's coming to save me. 25-7, 365. Make sure you guys go listen to them. Rob Bailey, Hustle Standard, that music. Once you get hooked, you can't kick it. It's harder to kick than crack cocaine. <laughs> All right. Well, on that, get it. see you guys later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Harder to kick than crack. <laughs> it is. I've never done it, but I can only imagine. I can imagine, imagine it. it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta rehab people yeah, to get them off of Rob's music. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Yeah. All right, guys, so you all know the Elliott Army theme song is about to be revealed by Rob Bailey. He flew out here from Montana to release it to us and our team here at the Lions Den in Scottsdale, Arizona. You guys know I've been following Rob Bailey for years. He became family, good friends, and I asked him, I said, dude, could you make me the Elliott Army theme song by Rob Bailey? He's and like, bro, let's tear shit down. So he's got it. He's going to be real, so revealing it. And, uh, you know, I'm excited, man. I've been, I'm like a kid in a candy store on Christmas. 
You guys check this out. I know it's going to be crazy. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. This is going to be the video they're going to play at my funeral, right, baby? I'm like this. I was trying to pee, and I couldn't even hit the Where'd you do that? Yes, they are. This is, the, this is the video they will play at my funeral. And when I walk out on every stage, remember that, baby, at my yeah. funeral. Oh, there he is. I said, I said where's John's What's up, man? I mean, you can't miss him. I'm like, where's the biggest no, on thing? you. Uh, big Rye, he's not here yet? Yeah, he, 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 takes the, he takes the big crown. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Super excited. Man. Yeah, I've never uh, presented a song before. It's all good. I've never, you know, this it's is, a weird this thing. This is your first time for yeah. everything. I'm glad we're doing something for the first time together. I know, I love it. Together. I love it. I made you arts and crafts. Uh -oh. I'm not a big arts and crafts guy, but I figured it, it made sense to make you like a little plaque. Oh, no. Right? That is so cool, bro. Man, that yeah, is right? badass. Yeah. Woo! Look at that, Fabio. Look at that. Yeah. Dude, that's sick, bro. Dude, that is badass, bro. That's badass. That's going in the office. Hell yeah. <laughs> My goal is to make this your best song you've ever been. They're like, wait a minute, I want the L.E. Army song. I love it, dude. Let's all get ready. Let's do it. Now listen, everybody, I'm going to hand it over to R.B. And uh, Rob is going to kick this off for us. He flew out here from Montana so that he could present the song. You know, I always tell you guys, over delivery is everything. And, you know, like he could have just sent it to us, Right. And like most people would have, because he flew out here, he made it, he did his part, and then, you know, like we're brothers and all that, but like he did his part, and he could just send it to us. But he's like, dude, I'm going to fly out there, this is a special deal, right? Like, I, like, I know what it means to you guys. Let's go, let's go. And, uh, and I just, I love, I love dealing with professionals, and you know, like somebody, most of the time when you're buddies, like you get the buddy deal, Right? And I told him, I don't want no buddy deal. Like, I want, his work is so incredible. His work changed yeah, our life. Our work, and our work is now combined with his work. I want everybody to understand this. We're making history today. Okay, so listen, what does that mean? That means Rob Bailey's work, which his work changed our life, and he was doing his work, like what was in his head, and then it changed our life, and then we're doing our work. And then we're side by side now. He's influencing people's lives. We're influencing people's lives. And by the way that we live, and I'll hand it over to him. He's like, I believe in that. Like, I love what you guys are doing. I want to put my work in that, and I'm going to make something for you guys. And I, and I asked him to make us something because his work combined with ours, holy shit. Now we're really teaming up. And this is called being influential. So anyways, Rob, we love you. Super grateful. Thank you, brother. What's up, guys? So this is, this is an honor. I'm really excited about this. Um, Andy asked us to make a song, and I think I was like, yeah. And I thought about it. I was like, no, it's actually a song I'd, I'd want to make. So we agreed. Um, our first big challenge, I think, was sitting down to make the song. Because every song that we make, I just make it for myself. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just making the song for me, and I release it online. <clears throat> and as Charlie and I sat down to start making the song, I was like, well, this isn't like a normal song. Like this is like an anthem. This is a walkout song. This represents a group of people that I know and respect. So it wasn't a normal project. I've also never made a song for a company, for a movement, for an army, for anything like that. So it was a really interesting. And I think we, I mean, we sat down for like four hours and we didn't really get into the song. It was more discussing like, what exactly are we making? And I realized that, you know, we're making an anthem for your brotherhood here, for the Elliott Army. And the next thing we had to do, and I, I really like this because normally when I make a song, I'm just making a song, right? It's, it's whatever I feel, whatever I want to happen. And this had to pull in all my other disciplines. So, like, I had to think marketing. You know, I had to think, you know, how do we really create culture within a company? Like, that's something I've never thought about making a track before. Um, which is why we came down here and recorded all the big gang vocals and everything because I realized like, dude, this song is huge. It's not just me. It's not hustle. It's not just Andy. It's everyone here. So of course, we need everyone here on the track. Um, and dude, I've I don't even know how many hours we have in the song. Right now, I'm sick of hearing it because we've been like 
the editing and going back and revising process uh, is a lot. Um, so I haven't listened to it in a week since we completed it. Um, I've also never had to play a song and then watch people's faces for the first time to hear it <laughs> when I made a song about them. <clears throat> but what we really tried to create, and one of the reasons I wanted to come down here and present it, was I want this to be like your WWE walkout song. Like you guys have such, yeah, you guys have such a dope stage presence. Like I haven't seen anyone sort of dominate a stage like the Elliott Group, right? So, I mean, between the intro that plays, you guys walking up, lining up, um, I really want to make something special for that. So, the way the song is structured on the final is we have a little dramatic, right? Because that's where he's coming up on stage. You guys are all coming up there. And then it goes into a big chorus, which you guys were all on the big chorus, right? Because I'm trying to picture it playing in this room, playing your new facility. And then after that, we go into the, the call and response. And then it just goes from there and just keeps getting wilder. So, um, yeah, I don't think I need to talk anymore. Um, wow, this is stressful. All right, play that track. Jeez. Do you want to be remembered? Do you want to change anyone's life along the way? Go psycho. Go psycho. Go psycho. What else you do, man? But you got the abs, call motherfuckers out. One of the fastest growing sales training organizations in the country. Fuck your boss! We shift the energy. We shift the energy. We change generations. Break through the bloodline. We're gonna clean your brain out. Now work everyone. Complete domination. We don't get tired. We don't get tired. Total recreation. We are Elliot Hart. We are Elliot Hart. We are Elliot Hart. Everybody fucking helps each other and does the right thing. Gets fucking jacked and makes a whole bunch of money and treats people right. Design made for the grind. I'm on all the time. I'm on all the time. Every beat, every breath. I don't get tired, boy. I don't need a rest for my family. Progress. Mark my words. I give nothing less. Best trainers in the entire country when it comes up to sales. That's it, no more hiding. Success or die trying. For my family, I'm fighting. The heart of a lion. You think you hunt? You do not. You think you grind? You do not. If you're acting casual, it's time to stop your wasting time. Cause comfort is a losing game. Overcome and take the pain. Let it motivate the change. I will never be the same. All this luck looks like hard work. Funny how that wordplay works. If you want to be remembered, go psycho. Let's get to work. See an army? I don't have a fucking sales team. That's a fucking army. Time to fucking change. I want to be the very best the world's ever seen, whatever it is that I do. People stop. I love your work. You are a stock, I'd buy you. If your mindset goes astray, you're screwed. If you care what other people think about you, you're screwed. We said, dude, we want to die this way. We want to live this way until we die. Oh my God.
excited to hear it in application. Like, yeah. I'm excited to hear it, you know. It's going to be insane, dude. The yeah. clips we're going to create, yeah. the shit we're going to do. I'm excited, man. I'm, this is it. We're going to die to this. That's going to be my funeral song. Always <laughs> goes as dramatic as possible. Yeah. I love it. He still, hey. he still has about 100 years left, though. I see that. That's what he says. Super important, guys. If you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are? In the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Let's do 100. Hey guys, so every day I say we'll make history, right? And, and every day we are making history. And the cool thing is, this is the present, right? Um, yeah, like this is the present. And so we have hope in the future, like where we're going, what we're going to do. But today is a milestone, man. Remember, how many of you, when you got with me, I said, hey, you got to listen to Rob Bailey. I mean, think about it. But did I ever tell you that one day we'd be making a song with Rob Bailey? If you're close to me, I said, dude, one day this guy's going to make music about our company. It's going to happen. Yes. Yes. And, and it never goes the way that you think it is. Because I didn't think that it would be me, you know, being like brothers with him or being good friends or let's all be in together. I thought it would be like, this guy's over there. We like look up to his stuff. He's amazing. And like we would pay him one day to perform some work. Dude, like, listen, man. You can go so much deeper in life with everything that you want if that's what you want. Yep. And I'm telling you, man, and like this is the good shit. Like, people just, they don't understand that. Um, there's nothing transactional with what's happening right now, right? Like we're going to pay him for his work, but I want you to understand there's nothing transactional. This is completely re relational. He wouldn't have said yes had we not been together for the last two years. Him see constantly day in and day out that we're holding true to our standard, our word, we're, we're giving all we got. He saw us get attacked multiple. You see, you see me get attacked daily on social media, you know. And and dude, like we don't quit. I mean, if you listen to Rob Music, Rob Music, like I don't care if you like me. I ride or die with my crew. I do what I want. You know, it's like he's like, Fuck you, man. This guy's been getting hated on forever. Dana's been getting hated on their whole life. Everybody, you know. Didn't like what they were doing. Didn't like what they looked like. They might not ro like Rob's hair. Rob will say they might not like this. No, but like, but like, he. I know. I yell. Listen, I yell a lot and I scream and everybody's like, "Why are you fucking yelling?" I'm like, "Dude, have you heard this guy yell?" Like, like I'm like at it like a one to his yell, right? I mean, if you don't like my yelling, I'm like, you gotta listen to my music. <laughs> I mean, because you know Rob's the one that got me yelling. All of a sudden, I'm like, dude, I, I, I actually listened when he yelled. And had he not yelled, like if it would have been just hustle, it wouldn't have been enough for me. I needed him to yell into my soul. And so like I was like, dude, I'm like going to yell what like he, how he yelled, I'm going to yell now. And dude, like we've gotten into people and they're like, it's, it's annoying, it's irritating, but like I listen. And so like in a world that's full of noise, like he got through all that noise with his yelling. And his message was very clear, and I believe that for some reason, remember, I always say sales is it doesn't matter is your product the best. Do you believe your product is the best? And dude, I believe that everything that Rob said, I believe that Rob believed that, that those lyrics were the way. Dude, Rob is the greatest salesman in the planet Earth. Yeah. And he may say, I don't like salespeople. Well, bro, you're selling every day. Every day you're selling because you're selling people on living a better life through his music. And he's, so how much conviction does he have when he's singing? So much. What is the key to sales? Conviction. Whoever has the most certainty dominates the uncertain person. Is his certainty massive through his music? Yes. Oh my God, dude. Like Rob is actually like one of the greatest salespeople on planet earth because he is selling you on a better life through his music. And better, whether his music is right or wrong, he believes it's right, and that's why people love listening to his shit. And so I was like, dude, like, I don't know whether what we're doing is right or wrong. I know that we're trying to be the best version of ourselves every day, but I know that we're going to believe that we're right, and whoever believes the most wins. 
And in a world right now where everybody just wants you to believe that it's hard, you can't do it, and all this stuff, his music was always like, I am capable, basically. And then it was in a bunch of other ways. And it was not uh, civilized music. Like, it was cussing, it was hard, it was crazy. Listen, this guy's got one of the biggest hearts I've ever seen. I've seen him get emotional. I've seen him cry. I've seen, I've seen you know... You know, I, he's like, I don't know if he's ever like Every time. <laughs> but, but dude, like he's an animal with a killer instinct with a good heart. Yeah. And so like, I think that that relationship that we built together, like we've had a lot of hard conversations. I've talked about things to him before about like, you know, hey, you know, be like this with Dana or be this way with her or people fucking believe in you or you need to get back out there. Like I'm always trying to push him because he pushed me off the ledge for us to build this. So it's like... You know, like I want to push him now off the ledge. Does that make sense? And so, to, and so together now we're both pushing each other, right? And so this song, I'm willing to bet that we'll have, you know, 10 or 15 of these songs. You know, like me, like Jackie's probably like, well, wait a minute, hold on. Let's just, you know, Rob's probably like, I'm only going to do one. But I'm already, it's halfway through listening to You're this one. You're going to die to this one. Yeah, no, I'm dying to this song. But then I'm thinking, I'm thinking, do we have the Brotherhood song? I'm like, what about the song about the brotherhood? Right? Could you envision the brotherhood? Uh, yeah. Welcome to the brotherhood. You know? And I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, I need, I need that song. And Jackie's like, that's your problem. You fucking beg me for something, I give it to you, and then as soon as you get it, you fucking want something else. Now we know where Ian gets it. Okay? You know? Uh, but anyways, I just want to say, guys, Rob playing down here is amazing. He's a part of our family. He, yeah. Yeah, he's amazing. We love you, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. And so, so we love you guys. Hey, everybody, for coming out. Rob, you got anything? Are you good? I just want to say, I, I appreciate it. You know, that was interesting for me. Never presented a song before. But you, you said something. Um, you guys truly are part of something really, really rad. You know, I, I travel a lot. Um, I've been in the industry and in all these different industries for a long time and I've never seen anything like this, you know, and, and the opportunity that you guys have here is real. So just to re-say what he already said is you guys can truly make whatever you want out of life and the platform that you have here is absolutely amazing. People don't get this. Everyone in this room is really lucky to be here, you know, really lucky to be a part of this. Um, yeah, and once again, just an honor, man. Just an honor, guys. It, it, really, really cool project. I can't wait for you guys to like, listen to it over, digest it, feel it. That felt really short. Um, <laughs> Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true .000. One percenters. Look, I know one percenters that can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I want to get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I want to roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link. It says coach with me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.